deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah PXT here tonight. So before we get into the actual show, because uh, yeah, this was this was gonna be a real doozy, by the way. Um, but we wanted to real quick do an announcement for both uh, PXT and MTW. People who don't know, MTW is another promotion, uh, Mountaintop Wrestling, that uh, I am also working with as well, alongside D Mob and others in MTW. I work along with MTW as well, and I am trying to help them grow as much as possible. We were originally going to be doing it as a PvP type of league. It really hasn't been working out, uh, both because my scheduling with work, but then also when we do actually get everything working, the servers are dog shit. <laughs> And, and we get fucking cut constantly. So, because of that, we have made the decision to actually make NTW a CPU league like what PXT is. That is correct. So, NTW is going to be a CPU league. But even with that said, NTW and PXT will be colliding as well. That's right. Some PXT stars will be in NTW, and some NTW stars are coming to PXT. And with that said, that introduces a new championship. Yes, that's right. Ladies and gentlemen, I am announcing sometime later next month, we will be hosting the MTW PXT World Heavyweight Championship Tournament, which will have everybody from PXT to MTW going head to head against each other. Now, with that said, we're not going to be using the bracket system of the tournament itself, itself because in case it is an MTW star going against an MTW star, we want it to be full on fucking war between PXT and MTW. That's a lie, but pretty much we're going to see who's going to be crowned the first ever MTW PXT World Heavyweight Champion. Now, why is MTW's name first? Honestly, I said it sounded cool. But also because it was D-Mom that came up with the idea, and honestly, the title looks fucking fire. Way better than anything I've fucking made. <laughs> so, in all honesty, I'm very excited for that tournament. Uh, we don't have a specific date, because MTW, the CPU League, is still... We're still working out the kinks before we, like, full-on start it. So we're hoping sometime in January, uh, hopefully the beginning of January, we can actually start MTW. Right now, the only way to find it is at Mountaintop Wrestling, so you have to put in like the at and stuff, so heads up on that. And also, want to let you guys know that I would love to have a lot of the original characters in here, so I'm going to be talking to everybody's um, actual character, like AJ Cannon, uh, Smooth, if Smooth's in here, Smooth, if you're actually interested in being in that tournament, obviously we'll put them in the tournament, same thing with Polly. uh, Shane, because I already know Shane's going to want to be in there. And the same thing with Rocky. Pretty much every... I want to have all the originals in there before I throw in my guys. Because, uh... <laughs> the one person... Bring your fourth wall. The one person I will not have in that tournament is fucking C. Jill, okay? He's a monster. We don't need him in that thing right now. <laughs> uh, if y'all guys are interested, in other words, Smooth or anybody else watching this later, if you guys are interested in joining MTW, let me know. We'll actually do a joint contract. To pretty much it's like D Mob. So a D Mob is going to be both in MTW and PXT alongside with. I believe Michael Slade, Electrobe is actually in MTW, and Shane is actually going to be debuting on MTW as well. But for right now, let's hop back into PXC because we are jumping into a title match. That is right. So last week was the Hardcore Championship title defense to where Abco was able to successfully defend it. This week, it is the TikTok Championship. And guess what? <laughs> I fucking hate this. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have a double champion. We're going to have another... How many double champions have we already had? Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for one fall, and it is for the PXC TikTok Championship! My God. This is... I believe this is our first ever champion versus champion match here in PXC as well. Not even going to lie to y'all. 
Oh my god, they fixed him! He stays in the ring! <laughs> they fixed him! <laughs> There he is, Abkul. Abkul obtaining the PXC Hardcore Championship last week against Mox, which next week he will be defending that title against Mox only because it wasn't a hardcore match due to Mox's safety. What the fuck? And you, Mac, just out of curiosity, who's your original? And we've had two double champs. I think they're Mox and Ra Yes, in other words, tonight we could see a triple double champ with Abkul. Oh my god, it's fucking crazy. Hello, Mac, how's it going? Oh, man. This, but in all honesty, though, this is our first ever champion versus champion match in PXC. Now, it is the TikTok Championship only being defended here tonight. It is only the that championship. The hardcore title is not on the line since this is a regular match. Now, if it was a hardcore match, then yes, the hardcore title would be on the line. I was like, yo, I meant yo. Oh, yo, Mac. Gotcha. Gotcha. See, now I wonder what Electro thinks. For people who don't know, Electro is the brother of Abcol, who is our, Electro is our PXC champion right now, and he's already trying to do the the Triple Crown champion here at PXT. But uh, so far, it looks like his brother's already getting a fucking <laughs> straight shot to it. But that said, too, though. He's going to have to go against the likes of Jet X. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. The Jet X has his turnaround. He's going to be third double champ. Well, no, this is not a title for title. This is this is purely for the TikTok championship because the match is not a hardcore match. If it was a hardcore match, then yes, it would probably be a double title. But it's not that weak, so we're not going to do that. It is purely for the TikTok championship. Now, for people who don't know, both the TikTok Championship and our Hardcore Championship are titles that get defended every other week. Literally, we choose by random. In other words, we do what we call the Abyss uh, Randomizer. It's something we started at Abyss, and it's been going fucking crazy so far with these titles. <laughs> What the fuck? Who spawned it? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Introducing first the challenger, Abko! And his opponent, he is the PXT Tick Tock Champion, Genex! No, Abko can only be a double champ, and I want to see double champ so changed. <laughs> my, my fuck you, Gen. <laughs> Wait, so you say fuck Gen X? Oh no, I. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> Shit. Now thinking about it, if he went, god damn. I just realized Abko's gonna have a shit fucking month if that's the case, because then every other week. Well, every week now he's gonna defend the title if he wins here tonight. It is Gen X Abco for the TikTok Championship? Here we go. Okay, don't know what happened there. Gen X is going straight about it, but I guess. Oh, okay. Abco is trying to take control, but Gen X not gonna fucking allow it here tonight. Ooh, big fucking punch. And now Abco is getting back control of the match. Right now, right now. It's still very early. Oh God, drops him on the top rope. All right, Gen okay, so far, it's a good back and forth between both men, but Gen X is taking the advantage by dropping Abkul down. Now going to the top. Have we seen Gen X up top? I don't honestly don't know. Oh shit, shoulder tackle. 
I generally don't know if we ever seen Gen X go up to the top. My God, I gotta give both men props. They're actually going back and forth pretty well. Ooh, big punch. Oh, look at this. I'm cool. Looking to make Gen X tap out here tonight. But the TikTok champion is not gonna have it. My God, we're seeing two champions just going, just going back and forth. This is actually pretty cool. Oh, big slap, the TikTok champion now. Oh, wait, oh, Irish backbreaker. He's not even Irish. True. No. Genix though now looking to work on the arm of Abco, which is probably not a bad idea because... Oh, well, the, well, it was the other arm he was working on. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, oh, big exploder. Oh, but Genix looking to roll up the hardcore champion. One, no. I think Genix was... <laughs> I think he was taunting away there a little bit, telling him to come at him. And with that, Apple gets caught with a snap DT and now gets caught with a big clothesline. And Gen X is in pure control of this match. Big knee to the face. Oh, but Apple quickly getting up. Another Irish backbreaker. What is the rest of your car tonight? Funny that you say. <laughs> G7 is actually going to be competing here tonight. We're going to get into that in a little bit because his match is actually next. Uh, we do have two new signees of PXT tonight. So that's going to be in the middle of the show tonight. And Genix going for the pin here, looking to pick up the win against the hardcore champ, but only gets a two count. So, so real quick, I just want to know what everybody in chat's thinking. Uh, do, well, who do you guys think is going to pick up the win? Abcol or Gen X here? Personally, I would love to see Gen X keep going because I think he's been an exceptional champion so far. Any Morales or Outcasts? Surprisingly, no. Surprisingly. For now. For now. So far, what we're doing, we're giving both... The Outcast and the Wolfpack, some time to ready up. No way, shape, or form, there's gonna be ton foolery here tonight. I want Abco, I want a double champ. <laughs> oh shit, okay, I guess I missed it. Abco got busted open. Oh, but Gen X. Oh, big clothesline. Man, I gotta get props. I, I didn't expect Gen X to really be taking control of a veteran like Abkul. Abkul's been in the squared circle for fucking years to where Gen X was a former mixed martial artist and barely getting to the wrestling scene. And right now he is showing that he is the next generation of wrestling. Holy fucking shit. Nah, Gen X is gonna take it. Personally, I would love, I would fucking love if Gen X fucking wins tonight. Cause then we get to see him just continue, man. No. Ooh! Big fucking shot there. Oh, gets him in a rolling neck breaker. Right now, Gen X is just controlling this. I'm I'm one of them. <laughs> oh, big. I believe that was the... I missed it. I'm going to be honest with you. I think that was it. <laughs> I had to grab the rope to stay alive. Oh, but Gen X... What's Gen X gonna go for here? Falling away. And oh, big roundhouse to the temple of Abco. And I think I think that's it for Abco. I think that's it. No! Abco is still fucking going. Holy shit! Oh, Gen X. <laughs> Gen X is not done. <laughs> he's he's going to give the hardcore champion a fucking concussion here tonight. <laughs> oh, Alco blocks it, though. And gets it with a big neck breaker. Could we be seeing Alco's shot here? Ooh, good brain buster. Oh, now hits him with a kick across the chest, and now Gen X. Now Gen X is down. Apple looking to rally here tonight, but wants to do big damage to Gen X, and now they're both men on ringside. Oh, they were for a bit. Apple wants to keep it in the ring, though. Oh, but Gen X 
Catching Abkul off guard with him trying to get back in the ring. And now Gen, Gen, Gen X. I think Gen X was talking some shit from inside the ring. Because again, want to point out, this is Gen X's first wrestling promotion he's been a part of. He was a former mixed martial artist. And right now he's showing that he can handle a veteran like Abko. Well, this looks like Abko is now looking to rally. Oh, hits a big parry kick. Me. <laughs> Oh, I think, okay, I think Abko was trying to set up for another submission move, but Genix was able to get out of danger, and oh, shit. Oh, big strikes from Abko to the champion! My god, I got, man, Genix was doing so good at the beginning, but right now Abko is just defiant at this point. Oh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. He's about to get Gen X. A mind sweep! Is that enough to put down the TikTok champion? No, Gen X is still going. Oh, look at this. Going with big punches again. Oh, oh how goes the kick? He's going to need a double dose. He's going to need a double dose of another mind sweep straight. Back to back! Is that enough to put Genix out? One! Two! No! Genix! We're still fucking going! He's gonna need three! He's gonna need three! Fuck! And the crowd's chanting something I can't hear with the chanting, but Genix gets out of the dangerous maneuver and now looking to take back advantage of this match! God, big strike the chest of Abko. And, okay, well, showing a little bit of power there. We've actually never seen Genix. Well, uh, as far as I know, I don't think we've seen him do that. Another backbreaker to the back of Abko. And now Genix possibly looking to put the nail in the coffin here. Next gen, is that enough to put Abko out of commission? I believe the crowd is chanting one more time. I think they don't think that's it. One, two, three. And without Gen X retains the PXC TikTok Championship. Oh my God, dude. Holy shit. We started with a fucking banger here tonight. Holy crap. Yes. Gen X retains the TikTok championship here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, Gen X against a big victory against Apco, our first ever champion versus champion match. But now it is on to the rest of the show. Our next match is G7. G7 was a uh, little fired up, not gonna lie, due to his loss against Adonis. He really wanted to make a statement against Adonis, saying that he is ready to fucking step it up. So, who did he go up to? Who did he think would be the perfect example? Besides someone like Adonis, he chose the first ever PXC champion himself. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is G7 going against Rald Brigo here tonight. G7, though! <laughs> Ugh. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Our first ever PXT champion. He won the title in a full-on tournament. My back is fucking killing me, by the way. Gotta raise up this fucking pillow, because holy fuck. Oh, oh shit, that's actually what I needed. Oh my god, that feels great. Rodrigo was our inaugural PXT champion. This time around, our actual first ever PXT champion was Bugrit, which that started a whole rivalry between two, man. But... He, uh, he did not have a good title run. He literally lasted a month, and that was about it. Uh, so far, I think PXT... Yeah, the PXT championship-wise, I don't think we've had a longest-reigning PXT champion. 
as far as I know, because pretty much every title defense for the PXC Championship has been fucking short, dude. Other words, just showing that there's always a better man here in PXT. No, no, we should probably get the dice ready. Yeah, I'll do it in a second. Guys, I can vouch and say he is a menace. The only time we've seen Rodrigo actually push through the wall was his match against Desmond. Desmond was the only man to be able to push Rodrigo to the f not even to the limit, like just in general, be manhandled. He's the only time we see Rodrigo not have an advantage. But with that said, tonight could could G7 pull a miracle out of his ass. Here's the thing. Right now, he has no fucking momentum for Frost Fight. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. The number one contender for the PXT YouTube Championship. He won this up. He won that opportunity back at Carnage. For a free for all match, somehow he was able to pick up the win, and he is now going to be facing C. Jill for the PXC YouTube Championship. Now, with that said, C. Jill is here tonight, so if anything, C. Jill could be watching this match hella fucking closely. And I mean that, he could be really watching this match here. Because. G7, when the show started, holy fucking shit, he was on a roll. It was him and the kid, both men, literally on a whole ass roll in their careers. They got stopped at Hellfire, but, but that does not take away the fact that this man here, G7, is a future champion in my eyes. Now the question is, can he put down the undefeated C. Jill. But with that said too, could Adonis be the one here tonight? C. Jill's in the main event against Adonis. Oh, oh, big, oh, wow. Big fucking statement from G7, oh my God. Starts off with a big spine buster and now just full on a soul to the blue menace. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't expect to start off with a big spine buster. But as we've seen from the past, it's, you gotta do a lot more to keep Rodrigo down. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. G7's thinking smart, though. G7's thinking hella smart. He's trying not to let him get a small advantage. But that might have been the small advantage Rodrigo need. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Going for a roll up here. One. I think it's a one count. And again, I think people are trying to taunt with this whole like fucking head grab thing that they do. I think they're just trying to taunt G7. My God. Right now making, making a statement. Shit, maybe, maybe Rodrigo should reevaluate his like quest here in PXT. He's not thinking about it. Really thinking about it, wise. I don't know if he can become Grand Slam champion if he's like falling off the ball like this. Like when we started PXC, he was he was a menace. It was almost impossible to put the man down. But now, man, it feels like he's really been letting it flop. He was looking to wear down the chest or the torso, like the whole body area of G7, but G7 is not going to have it. It gives him a big clothesline, and now G7 is in control of this match. Rodrigo's rolling out to get, get some air. Oh, G7 is not giving him any fucking moment to retain consciousness. Holy shit. G7 is fucking fired up. That loss, I think that loss with Adonis opened his eyes that he needs to step it up to another level. I think that's what we're seeing. Oh wait, oh, big Samoan drop. Oh, <laughs> quickly kicks off. <laughs> that drop did nothing to the likes of G7. Leo gets G7 up though and drops him head first into the turnbuckle. Um, now Rodrigo just punishing G7 in the corner. 
and continues the punishment with strike straight to the head of G7. They both really started off, but uh, it's nothing more. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, the chat thing. I hit, this is the one thing I hate about YouTube's chat, dude. It gets blocked with this stupid heart thing, so I can't really like see the full chat sometimes. Ah, it's so dumb. Oh! I think Rodrigo was going for a spear, but G7 was able to reverse it and also didn't catch it. Oh, wait. Oh, King Slayer to the former PXC champion. Is that enough to put Rodrigo down? No. God damn. I turned away for a second. Rodrigo's thinking that's enough. I mean, shit. I, I would probably think so, too. I mean, he, he busted open G7. Uh oh. Rodrigo looking to hit his brother's patented. Lava Lanch! Is that enough to put G7 down? No, his hand was underneath the rope. Not, not fucking knowingly, though. Rodrigo's looking for a spear! Is that enough to put G7 out? One, two, no! G7 is fighting his heart out right now. Oh, Rodrigo, he calls this the golden splash. Oh, wait, no, okay, it was an elbow drop. I thought he was going to go for the splash. That's how he won the PXC Championship. Oh, G7 hits him with a big power bomb. Big punch to the face. G7 now looking to come back in this match. But he knows that he has to really do major punishment to the likes of Rodrigo. <laughs> Here's the thing that I think he didn't understand. Rodrigo can fucking come back in a match just like that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, second King Slayer. Is that enough? Is that enough to put Rodrigo down? Well, he only gets a two count. <laughs> I, was, I was at all for a second. I was like, this could be it. Oh, G7 getting the advantage. He exchanged and catches him in a big spine buster. That's how the match started off, but now with both men weakened out. Oh, hey, oh, G7. G7. I, I don't, was that, a, I don't even know if that was a rally, actually. Oh! It's the jumping future shock. Was that enough? A third King Slayer. Could that, oh, Rodrigo reverses the King Slayer. This could be Rodrigo's chance to put down G7. Oh, look at that. G7, though, still fighting his heart out. Still not giving in. He believes he can put down Rodrigo. Can G7 become a menace slayer in this case? Yeah, that's a dumb name. <laughs> that was a dumb one. Can he slay the likes of Rodrigo here tonight? Goes for a gut wrench power bomb. Goes with the pin, thinking that's enough to put the blue menace down here tonight. And it is. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit! That, ladies and gentlemen, is a huge, and I mean a fucking huge ass upset here tonight. He just pinned a former PXT champion. Now the question is, could he pull off something like that against the likes of the White Viper of Russia at Frostfight? People don't know, we, we just started our women's division, we had a little issue, kind of fixed. We started off our women's division last week and we were able to crown a number one contender for the PXT Women's Championship, which is Ava Moreno. Now with that said, that match was a six man Correction, six woman, women, uh, over the top battle royale to where Aaron Moreno was able to pick up the win and his crown that I'm going to contend for the PXC Women's Championship. Now, with that said though, there was one lady who was not in the match because she had some beef with the champion herself, Emma Jeffrey. And everyone was congratulating all the females and even some of the men backstage were congratulating Ava on the big win. Emma, on the other hand, was saying, 
I practically gave it to you because I wasn't in the fucking match. Ava, they, Ava did not, uh, did not think that was even possible. Pissed off Emma a bit. And now, tonight, it is Emma Jeffrey going against the number one contender of the PXC Women's Championship, Ava Moreno. Now, we have only seen, we have only seen little action from Ava Moreno, but honestly, I see a future champion in this woman, because holy fuck, dude. <laughs> she was able to fight the likes of fucking Jimenez, <laughs> fucking Misty Wolf, and come out on top in that fucking battle royale. Now the question is, will she be able to handle the likes of CJ Love? Is Jacob Tristan Wildfire booked tonight? Funny that you mentioned that, actually. So I guess we'll get into that whole little thing right now. Jacob Tristan Wildfire won last week's Battle Royale and is crowned number one contender for the PXC Championship against Electro at Frost Fight. But, with that said though, the question is, is the Unholy gonna be at ringside with him? So tonight it is gonna have me, our PXC champion Electro, going against Michael Wolf to where the stipulation is if Michael Wolf wins tonight, he will be at ringside with Jacob Tristan Wildfire. With Electro wins, it's gonna be one on one Jacob and Electro at Frostfight. I will say this though, everyone has been saying Wildfire is fucking terrifying now. <laughs> now that was just the moveset, just how he looks, which honestly, God, he looks fucking scary, dude. But you put Jacob just a Wildfire in, but I any of my guys, all jokes, just getting pissed. I'm not saying any of my guys, <laughs> but I understand. But man, the Wolfpack and the Outcasts. I fully discussed they did that they they want to be a hundred and ten percent ready at frost fight and i agree with it because i think that match is gonna be fucking fire honestly i think that match is gonna be really fucking good <laughs> especially from what we see with the wolf pack holy fuck dude Right now it is Ava Moreno going against Emma Jeffrey. Emma Jeffrey saying that she practically gave Ava the win because she was not in that battle royale match for the number one contendership. Now this isn't a number one contendership match. This is just women selling their beef. But and Emma wanted to prove that maybe she's should be fucking worthy of a title match soon. Yes, we say soon. <laughs> Hitting the arm there. Not just that, but just Morale is so, so good. And I keep making updates to him and make him better. And it's just, I don't know. No, I understand. I'm Young Blood Zach. Will I be on PXT? Found, find out later tonight on PXT. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta do the Dragon Ball thing. We're gonna say it like that. I'm Young Blood Zach. Will I be on PXT? Find out later tonight on PXT. <laughs> So I just think of the fucking <laughs> Dragon Ball theme with that. Right now though, Emma's actually taking full control of this match. Maybe, maybe, maybe Emma may have a point here. Holy shit. What in the fuck? <laughs> Okay, I, 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 okay, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what both women are doing right now. Both women playing mind games. <laughs> maybe, maybe Ava's trying to hold back a little so then she doesn't reveal everything because CJ could be watching this match very closely. Which again, also, still, still think it's awesome because uh, we found out from D Mob himself that uh, this is, that the PXC Women's title is actually CJ Love's first championship ever won in her wrestling career and i think that's fucking awesome and i fucking love that she was able to accomplish that here in pxt right now her her, her fucking first opponent might be a huge fucking challenge for her not gonna lie also nothing like a good i know 
can fight. All jokes. Call your tit. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? I'm fucking confused. What's going on? Oh, yeah, Emma. Emma's now, Emma's now struggling in the match. Ava, though, coming up with, oh, my God. Holy shit, dude. She fucking flew. Man, what is she, Montez Williams? Holy shit. Wait, is it Montez? No, it's not Montez Williams. Is it Montez? Ford. Montez Ford. Why did you say Williams? What the fuck? <laughs> dude, she fucking, like, literally, it looked like she did an actual hop. Like she was flying for a second. Holy shit! But not flying. She was floating for a moment. There you go. That's the right way of putting it. Oh, look at that! Oh, going for the, going for the roll up. I want to point out we have not had a roll up victory here at PXT, so it'd be pretty cool if we get one. Oh my god, I hate this so much. Nothing like good old cat fight. All joke. Calm your tits. Get it? Don't get it. <laughs> It's not a cat fight. It's a bitch fight. I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> and with that, uh, with that, oh, all the ladies in the back are behind me right now. They're giving me death glares. I believe Misty Wolf is grabbing my shoulder. Hello. Ah. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not crying. I ain't gonna bitch smack, I swear. Match the action. Amos now taking control. Oh, sh God damn! I, honestly, I'm surprised they put it down. Holy shit. <laughs> and he just set up into a joke. <laughs> oh my God, oh, well. Amos, Emma might be proving her point here, maybe. Maybe she was right. Oh, no, wait. Ava. Ava, though, not giving up lightly. Oh, and now Ava looking to put away Emma Jeffrey here tonight. Oh, big shining wizard to the face of Emma Jeffrey. Is that enough to put her down? No, surprisingly. Holy fuck. People don't know Emma Jeffrey was the first ever PXT woman signee of PXT. That's why she feels like she should earn this side shot. Oh, the big arrow to the heart of fucking Emma Jeffrey. Oh, my God. No, my God. That still doesn't put her down. Emma, though, making a fucking statement here tonight. Now, they're going to fucking find me a thrust fight, beat my aunt, maybe. There's a reason you're not here, Shane. There's a reason you're not here. <laughs> I don't need loss. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. <laughs> oh, another man. Good big. Was that, I don't know, a suplex or a brain buster? It looked more like a suplex. So she was grabbing her back. Oh, big shots to the face now. Emma Jeffrey coming back at it. Big suplex. Emma's now making a statement against Ava Moreno here tonight. Ooh. Big elbow to the back. Oh, but she's still not giving up. Ava's still fighting her heart out. And yes, I know her outfit has hearts. Go with it. All right. Ava, though, not giving up at all. Oh, beautiful maneuver. Going for the pin. Is that enough to put her down? Yes, it is. Holy shit! That was fucking cool though! That was fucking awesome! I didn't even know that was even in this fucking moveset! Oh shit! Ava Rado picking up the big, big win against Emma Jeffrey here tonight! And now CJ, CJ's gonna have to watch out man, god! But uh, either way, let's continue on with the show. Our next match! Ladies and gentlemen, is between the newest signees of PXC. That's right, it is a division placement match. Now, for people who don't know what a division placement match is, pretty much in PXC, what we do when we put two new stars against each other, 
They don't win to choose which division they're in. Hell no. What they do is that they're gonna freaking compete to see who gets the first drawing. So in other words, if one man wins tonight, he could be in the YouTube division or he could be in the fucking PXT tile division. Now, how do we choose this at random, you ask? Well, that's very fucking simple, you see. So, usually I get a dice that's it, on the phone. Get a dice, uh, pretty much set it to one or two. One being PXT, two being the YouTube tile division. And uh, that's pretty much how we've been doing it ever since. But when, right now, we're going back to the arena to meet the newest sighties of PXT! Ladies and gentlemen, it is Young Blood Zack making his PXC debut! Now with that said, Young Blood Zack is also in MTW, so he has a PXC MTW contract here with us. So if you guys want to check out him, you guys can go check out the Twitch channel or even his own wrestling promotion. I must actually get his stuff, his info about it later so I can put it in the description of this live stream and for the edited version of this. A young Blood Zack is making his debut here in PXC and honestly excited to see what he can do here tonight. I hated this when I joined since Shane went up against Electrope and he got placed in the YouTube division with fucking CG. <laughs> Well now, well, now you're in the tag title division. <laughs> I'm here, YBZ. But now, his opponent here tonight. I'm going to be honest with you. I have not seen anything from this man. But from what I know, Shane knows a lot about him. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Johnny. To go out to look at the guy. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that last name. <laughs> he just. He just wet the shit out of the fucking. <laughs> Is he getting more drenched? Gotcha. Now. Shank, would you like to uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about this man? Because I know I think you mentioned a little bit about him, but I don't remember a lot from what it was. Well, what do you? Wait, what the fuck? He's in? What the fuck? I made him thinking you wouldn't put him in. <laughs> Aha! Jokes on you. <laughs> I love it too because you were saying, man, none of my guys are competing tonight, you guy. <laughs> and he's Samoan with. Oh, really? Oh, he's Samoan. Oh, shit. <laughs> with that said, for people who don't know, we all know Samoans make great fucking wrestlers. Look at their goddamn WWE champion at this point. Or WWE. Well, uh, WWE champion, I'm just gonna call him that. Could Johnny do that here tonight? That's an excellent fucking question. Now Shane, uh, real quick, wanna know, has he been wrestling for a while or has, this is this his first ever time wrestling in his career? And some more, he's a street fighter and he's a backyard fighter, meaning he's beaten in backyard UFC fights. Oh, bit oh Ben, gotcha. Sorry, the ends covered up for me, so I couldn't even read what that word was. <laughs> but right now, here's the thing though, he's going against I would say a veteran like Young Blood Zack. Because Young Blood Zack has been in other promotions. He's been fighting both in PvP leagues and this being a CPU league, he makes his debut with us PXT. I'm still gonna say PXC debut though. Very aggressive and strong. Gotcha. So in other words, oh well, oh, I can see the aggression right now. God damn. He is going at it right now. He's giving Young Blood Zack an actual like run for his money right now. Who now attacking the leg? And again, man, he really, really wants to. But thinking about it now. That's actually probably a smart ass move because it probably takes away a lot of moves from Zack's arsenal if he takes out the legs. 
Ooh, big shoulder tackle. With that said, though, will he be able to handle someone like Zach? Ooh, shit. I don't know if it was the chop, the chop with the hands or the knee shot that hit his head, but goddamn, it looked dirty. And now, Zach's just taking full on control, and again, okay, yeah, it was a, I think it was an elbow, really. But it connects. Now stops the face of Johnny. And Zach showing great display of strength against his opponent here tonight. Oh, but Zach's not done. Zach's! Oh, and again, the curse of PXC happens to where everybody fucking misses an outside dodge. <laughs> It, we call it the curse of PXT at this point. <laughs> I have the most guys of PXT now. Fuck you, Rocky. <laughs> oh, shit. My God. I was going to say, I, th I think I still win that, Shane, because since, since the whole roster's practically my guys. Well, good 20 of them. Which, no, I can could, I could bump that up a f plus 40 more. <laughs> It'd be terrible, though. Uh, I want to point out, we were at a count of six. Both men are still on the outside. Zach, though, going in. No, no. <laughs> this isn't for a title or anything, so he could win like this. Just for a placement. Oh, wait, the... Oh! I believe that was the Zach. F you, if I'm correct. Let me honest with you, it threw me off guard for a bit because I, I did not expect it out of nowhere. Holy shit, it was like Randy Orton. Oh, missed the shoulder tackle. Johnny was able to get out of it. Oh, look at this. Oh, big Uranagi. Oh my god, straight into Man, that was a cool ass way to get in the pin. God damn. But Zach not done yet. Zach still kicking. But Johnny, goddamn, Johnny's not done either. Holy shit. Okay, what's correct? It was the Zach FU. And right now, oh, big knees to the back. Is somebody, is somebody saying cheater? <laughs> what the fuck? I think the crowd was saying cheater to Johnny. What the fuck? <laughs> Johnny, though, honestly, I, I was not expecting Johnny to be taking full control of this because I've seen Zach in action. Zach is very fucking good in action. So I'm very impressed to see Johnny actually holding his own. Oh, look at this. Zach now looking to rally here tonight. Oh, big maneuver. What's that going to go for here? Oh, big move. He had turned the page, but that was not enough to put Johnny down. Holy shit. We were expecting him to hold his own. Motherfucker, I didn't expect to see him in the PC at all. <laughs> Uh -huh. Surprise is left and right here at PXT. <laughs> oh, oh my god, what the fuck was that? What was that reversal? What the hell? That was cool. Damn! Big spine buster! Holy shit! Dude, that was a wind up! I was there, like lifting him up over his back in a car! God damn! Man, John, Johnny's god damn, dude. We see the street fighter in him. God damn. Oh, but Zach just busted open the Samoan. Is that going to be a problem? Oh, maybe. Oh, my god. God damn. Dude, he's fucking brutal. <laughs> he just fucking. He just fucking pushed him out. Shit, dude. Johnny. <laughs> oh, my god. Flying elbow, getting Zach down. Now Zach is, yeah, Zach's having trouble. I think him busting open the Samoan was a bad idea. Oh my god, he also played football. <laughs> I think he's showing he's in the right sport now. Cause goddamn, dude, he's fucking brutal. 
Oh my god, got him over and hits him with a Samoan drop. Oh my god. Johnny is not holding anything fucking back. Look at this taunting away. His, his Samoan blood is kicking in, dude. His Samoan blood is kicking in. I think Zach was trying to go for Oh my god! A crazy ass knee shot to the face of Zach! I am, oh my god. There it is, Zach's now coming back at it. Oh my god, though. Is it too late, though? Is it too late? Zach's gonna really need to do something here to get back in it. Don't get me wrong. Johnny's busted open, but <laughs> god damn, dude, he's gonna need to do a lot more to take him down. Zach, though, taunting away, thinking that he got to this. Thinking he got to this, but Johnny's not. Oh my god. Shit, dude. Johnny was a backyard fighter? What do you mean he's backyard? <laughs> oh, backyard UFC fights. Yeah, okay, yeah, in that case, yeah, I can see it. God damn, though, man. Shit. He's not pulling any punches. God damn. <laughs> No, though. Zach has taken. Zach is taking this fight to the outside. Honestly, I think it's his only option at this point. Because holy fuck, dude! All right, I think he wants. To, I think now that he has Johnny down, I think he thinks he has this. I think he thinks he got this now. Now it goes in for it. Oh, big elbow to the back of Johnny. Is this gonna be it? Can Zach pull off the victory here tonight? His turn the page. Oh. Oh, Johnny was playing possible. Oh my God, big knee to the face, bust open, Zach. Zach's dazed, Zach is dazed. Oh, but I'm dazed enough. Zach's able to come back at it. But, oh my God, both men just, God damn, dude. Everybody's just running the trailer here tonight. Johnny thinking he gets it here. Another big Yuranagi is there enough to put Zach down. Two. No, Zach is still going, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> the crowd chanting one more time. It looks like they already. It looks like the crowd is already favoring Johnny at this point. Holy shit! I'll be honest, both men though. Oh shit! Big maneuver from Johnny. Is that on the punch? Zach down. Yes, it is. Johnny wins his first victory here tonight. God damn! He's been to prison for the tax fraud, though. He's a monster. God damn, dude. Holy fucking shit. Let's get to the fucking drawing, dude. I have no fucking words. Oh my god. Uh, uh. Either way, congratulations to Johnny on picking up his first victory here tonight on PXC. But now it's time to see where he belongs. Where is Johnny going to be placed? And no, wherever Johnny gets placed, the other free division is going to be where Zach gets placed. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny ta Tagalo. Ta ta Tagaloa. Ta Tagalo. Ta Tagalo. Am I saying it right? I'm just going to call him Johnny. Johnny has been placed in the PXT YouTube title division, which means Youngblood Zach is going to be placed in the PXT title division. Again, congratulations to Johnny on... God damn, uh, the crazy ass victory here. <laughs> All right, by the way, now it's on to the next uh, next match. So, uh, last week we had a rematch for the PXC Tag Team Championships between the Nation of Domination against the Wolfpack. Where the Wolfpack, holy fucking shit, won the match and was able to retain the PXC tag team titles but because the nation lost due to rematch clause they will not be seeing a rematch for those tag team titles so in other words they are now etched in the record books as the shortest title reigning tag team in history which they are not happy about they came to the office but they came to the office pretty much being hella pissed off and uh yeah they were not happy then two 
men decided to walk in as well. The team of D Mob and Michael Slade decided to debut as their tag team against these two fuckers. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it is the War Machines against the Nation of Domination in tag team action here tonight on PXC. And if it original wins, I will literally ask the creator what time they want to go for. But right now, ladies and gents, it is Team Up. Team Up. And Michael Slade making their tag team debut, I guess. <laughs> really. They've been here at PXT. They've gone to war against each other. Michael Slade. Holy shit. <laughs> Also want to point out, Michael Slade is also in MTW as well. And from what I hear, he has been making an impact in the PvP scenes. But now the question is, can him and d make an impact here tonight? PXT in the tag team divisions. Because who knows, we could be seeing possibly a future tag team champions right here. Now, with that said, they're going to be going against a big fucking team here. Now, I want to say this, because I, I, I still do got to point this out, though. These two men, Super and Titan, though they were not able to retain the PXT Tag Team titles, that is not taking away the fact that they are an absolute dominant force in the ring. Fucking Rocky gets the PXT every single time, but I'm stuck with fucking C Jill. <laughs> That's not hey, he went and he's at least gone against C Jill and got bodied. What are you talking about? <laughs> God damn it. It's actually true. <laughs> I feel sex didn't feel fucking bad about that. <laughs> Son of a bitch, man. Ugh. Right now, the nation. Coming in, probably to uh, blow some steam off here, but then not just that, looking to get back on being number one contenders for the tag team titles. Because here's the thing, again, gotta point this out. At PXT Frostfight, it is the outcast against the Wolfpack. Which is gonna be fucking interesting, <laughs> not gonna lie to you. There it is. The War Machine starting off with D-Mob. The Nation starting off with Titan. Here we go. Titan, oh my god, Titan's already starting off strong against the Icon of the Ring. God damn, big chop to the head. Titan, oh, right, look at that, Titan. I think showing a little bit of disrespect to D-Mob. Gets him with a chop and immediately goes for a tag. Super, though, was trying to go for big-ass offense there. Doesn't get it, though, and D-Mob gets out of danger. Oh, my God. Okay, man, smoking too soon. There it is. D-Mob's now looking to get out of it. Oh, my God, but D-Mob's now getting trucked by the likes of Super. I, I do want to point out, this is the first time I've seen D-Mob go against S someone like the size of Super and Titan. Oh, oh, look, oh, no, oh, oh, God, oh, God, no, 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 big God damn. Holy shit, that was a new move in his arsenal. Oh, D-Mob was kicking off there. Titan, though, interrupting, saving his partner, possibly in, from big-ass offense. Big elbow shot. Super, though, not having it. Super is not having it. And now, trying to set bigger sights on D-Mob. But D-Mob's, again, not going to have it. And now does some damage to Super. And now, gives a little bit of a seat. And now Super is busted open. But now Super's going to have to deal with the likes of Michael Slade. Oh, look at Oh, my God. Holy shit. Is, he, is that? You think he got him in a full-on headlock there? Oh, uh, maybe we haven't seen that type of offense from Slade. Now, no, when Slade made his debut here, 
God damn, God, because I do gotta admit, it's crazy the transformation we've seen from Michael Slay from his debut to now. Because when we saw him before, he was not as fucking, like, built as he is now. So I gotta fucking ask him, dude, how the hell do I lose this thing? <laughs> it's still not fucking fair. What do you mean? It's fair. No. And I feel like the nation is just the rival stepping stone for the latest tag teams. Hey, maybe. Honestly, we don't know. Because either way, I know the nation is pissed off. Especially to be sent straight back to the line after winning the tag team titles. And then next thing you know, boom. Oh, look at that. Already going to pin against Slade, but Slade's not going to have it. And still not going to take offense from Titan. You want to point out? He's going to have to really... Oh! Keep an eye on the strikes of Titan, because Titan can, Titan can come back literally from anything at this point. Not even going to lie. Hell, at fucking Carnage, we... <laughs> Titan was the MVP of that match, because he destroyed Rocky and he destroyed Mox, to where Mox literally, literally could not fucking compete in a hardcore match for his hardcore championship, which that match is confirmed to be next week, by the way. All right, now Slade. Oh, I think Slade was trying to set something up. Didn't get set up correctly, though. And right now, Titan takes advantage of the mistake. And now Titan taking control and sends Slade flying. Oh, was trying to go for a big move. Slade, though, getting out of it. And, oh, my God, big clothesline. Send, goddamn, send Titan fucking rolling. If I was on, I would try to get Titan. Oh, Titan gets the hot tag on Super, and now it's Super against D-Mob, and Super is... God damn. Look at the Outcasts. After fighting the Nation, they get a title shot, and the, they lost the titles a week after they get the, got them. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, was he going for a senton? Shit, I would hate that, man, to get sent on by fucking Super. No, the man's seven foot tall, weighs some 400 pounds. I gotta point that out here. Uh oh, please, Tube is going for a super Gurnagi on oh, D-Mob. Is that enough to put him down? Slade, though, saving Michael. Oh, correction, Michael Slade saving D-Mob there. Oh, my God. Oh, what's Super going for? Super going for a big splash. Right now, D-Mob is... Oh, D-Mob going for a roll-up. Looking to roll up Super, the former Pixie Tag Team Champion. That tags in, and right now... Michael Slade, oh my god, Michael Slade, oh shit! We just saw him lift up a 400 pounder! But not, not high, but he lifted him up, god damn! Oh, Michael Slade's not done, he's now turning his attention to Titan! Oh, drops him down! This could be, this could be War Machine's shot, this could be their shot right now! The big elbow shot, oh, gets punched there, and now, Slade, Taking advantage, sends Super over the rope on the apron. But Super's not taking any punishment there. Slade though, Slade getting. Hey, Super the corner, now we're seeing some tag team offense from the War Machines. Oh, God damn it, assisted. Oh, uh, fuck, was it crossbody? Assisted crossbody right there from the top. Oh my God, dude, D-Mob's just getting trucked. And Titan now looking to Possibly piss off Slade, which I think is just a bad idea, honestly. Ooh. Big suplex, Titan now. Titan's taking control, and now Titan's going to the top. He's probably looking to put down D-Mob. Oh, misses it, though. D-Mob quickly tagging in Slade, realizing that Slade might be the key to picking up the victory here tonight. Look at that, Slade's now fighting back, fighting back great. But so is Titan, Titan's not giving up either. And now, oh, we're about to see the Spartan strength of Titan! Is that another put him out? No, Slade kicks out. Oh, big punch there right now. Titans take Nick to the one taking control, but Slade's not gonna fucking take it. Slade's not gonna take it, and now gets him up. Gonna get him up for. Oh, oh my god. 
He just gave Titan a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> Titan fucking excels in like pile drivers. He just gave him his own taste of medicine there. God damn. Wait, wait. Oh shit, wait. Oh! He just did him! He just did the Titanfall! What? Oh, wait. Oh, I think. So two things happened there. I believe Super helped them out, but Titan also grabbed the rope. Mm. Big star, is that enough? No, super there to fucking stop the pin. Mm. God damn, my throat is fucking me in the ass right now. The mom now looking to deal some damage to super, and now it is just the two legal men in the ring. Titan now taking control of it. Gets laid up. This could be really bad. Olympus falls! And now the pin, is that enough? No, Slade kicks out! That, that was almost really, really bad for the War Machines. All right, now Super gets tagged back in the ring. Oh, wait, Slade! Slade! Looking for a roll-up! Oh, does only gets a two count, though. Oh, stops the face. Now just stopping the face of Super. I think they're realizing Super might be the equalizer. Or not the equalizer. What? Oh, I, I don't know what he was going for there. <laughs> I, think the, I think the Olympus Falls might have... Days him a little bit too much, but look, I believe we're going to be seeing another assisted cross body from the War Machines. And now D-Mob looking to put Super out of commission once and for all. That is, is that enough? One. Oh, now Titan coming in. But one thing I got to give the nation is that they are great on saving the fucking match. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Super going for it. Roll up. Only gets a one count, though. Super got, super got scared there. Also, I love Wendy's. I got a, I think a Baconator with chocolate fro Oh, dude. See, you're making me tempted to download fucking like Uber's Eats because I wanted, I wanted a fucking um, what was it? A choc, a chocolate boba. That's what I wanted. Oh my god, big! I just, well, I just saw that big spear from D Mob to Titan, but super there to save the win. See, I wanted that and I wanted a hibachi plate. Because holy fuck, they're so fucking good. I just wish I knew how to make it. Cool, big clothesline. I get mad. I want to point out the strength of Slade and fucking D Mob is exceptional. Because, dude, they both hit clotheslines against Titan and they send him rolling, dude. Oh, big powerbomb. Is that enough to put D Mob out? Michael. Okay, Michael, Michael, uh, I think I think he thought D-Mob had it. I think he showed a little bit of hesitation there. Oh, wait, but D-Mob, D-Mob getting the roll up. Is that enough? One. Oh, look at this. D-Mob's going to show his own form of strength. He showed it there for a second. He was like, he, he picked him up with one fucking leg. Pure power from D-Mob, the icon of the ring. Oh, I think D-Mob was getting him to the corner, but doesn't get it. Titan was able to get out of it. And now Titan has D-Mob up. D-Mob gets dropped face first into the turnbuckle. Oh, God damn, gets dropped. Got back first and now gets caught a big knee to the face of Titan and now D-Mob realizes he, he has to tag in Slade, which I agree. Slade needs to be in this a little bit more, mainly because he's the fresher man between the War Machines. He is a little bit more fresher compared to D-Mob. D-Mob got busted open and he's been getting trucked by both men. Oh, oh, oh! Big dangerous move! I think, oh my god, I think Slade was trying to go for a big maneuver, but... Titan turned into a big powerbomb and somehow Slade is already up. 
Oh shit! Slade! Slade, Slade was able to pick up a 400 pounder! My god! Also watching NTW, Demob is... Uh, is an older, so either he cloned himself or time travel and grabbed his past self. That is exactly what happened. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, the war machines are... They're bringing the fight to the nation, but the nation is also dealing big punishment. And with that said, my controller fucking died because I did not expect the match to go that long. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Big Super Uranagi to a slave, but... Oh, oh, ooh, oh shit. That could be really bad. This could be really bad. Big boot to the face of D-Mob. This could be really bad. D-Mob's out. <laughs> Slade's going to fight his way out to it. Oh, no, there it is. D-Mob's coming back. D-Mob's coming back. Ooh. Again, man, again, sends both, both giants flying, man. God damn. I got a big knee shot. Man, the question is, what, what is both D-Mob and Slade going to have to do here tonight? What, like, what, what are they going to do to put these fucking giants down, man? Oh, picks them up. Oh, D-Mob, though, getting out of the maneuver. D-Mob now sending Super to the corner. We're now going in for some tag team offense here. The War Machines looking to deal big damage to the likes of Super. Now does some damage to the arm there. And now Slade looking to put Super down with the Slade Sledgehammer. Oh, wait, no, it's not done there. It's not done there. It's a double Sledgehammer. Is that enough? Oh, Titan was there to save the fucking pit. <laughs> Super's out, man. <laughs> yeah, Super's 100% out. And now Slade looks to deal punishment to Titan in case Super gets up. Oh, hit us! <laughs> hit the. I'm gonna say it's a stutter. <laughs> it still is practically the stutter, man. <laughs> oh, Slade. Slade, I think thought Super was going to be a little bit more tired out, but Super still has some fucking fuel in him and now stomps the face. My God. I think now, finally, finally, Michael Slade is busted open. And gets, oh! Gets out of big danger there. The man, dude, that was going to be a huge hit. Now Super gets him up and I got, the, oh my God. The double underhook suplex. God damn. Slay trying to roll to his corner. Time though. Not taking it seriously. What the fuck? I don't know what happened there. I think I think Slade just probably got too worn out. I think him being busted open is signifying that he just got. He's getting tired out. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. He had no time, but he didn't go for it. I think Slade's thinking that he got this, maybe. Oh, it's a big clothesline to the face. Well, not to the face, but hits a good clothesline to Super. And now tags in D-Mob. As... Oh, big elbow shot to the face of Super. But look at Super now rolling up, looking to win the match with the roll-up. Again, we have not had a roll-up victory here in PXT. I think it'd be fucking hilarious if we ever do, though. Oh, big shot, but D-Mob was able to block it and now gives out punishment of his own with a snap DDT. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the match of the night. Okay, that's a lie. My God, though, I gotta give props to our tag team division, though. They they get both because all the teams so far have been showing. Holy shit, they're not giving up. <laughs> oh look at this, D Mob was able to catch him up. Oh, catch him with the rolling, D Mob.
Icon roll? Should we just call it the icon roll, maybe? <laughs> Full clip! There you go, we can call it full clip. <laughs> Is that they call it War Machines? <laughs> Alright, I think of the fucking War Machine from uh, Marvel. And he hit the Gatling gun, so I think like... Full clip? I don't know. Right now, D-Mops dishing big part of his Super. Super's, not, Super's having struggle just fighting back. Ka! Big knee to the face! Now tags him in. Now the match of the night was the one before this. <laughs> At this point, yeah, I, I, I won't lie on that, because holy shit, dude. Goddamn Johnny. <laughs> he, he was not holding back. Oh, big elbow drop to the chest. Oh, super. Now Slade. Oh, it's an old fashioned. Is that enough? One! God damn it. <laughs> Time saving the match. Fucking KK. Who the hell is gonna pick up the victory here tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Will it be the war machines or will it be fucking the nation of domination? Oh god, big punch in the face there. Oh yes. Ooh! Uh, was that a Sunset Flip Powerball? I'm just gonna say it was. The and now both War Machine. <laughs> oh, I think, okay, I get I think D-Mob and uh, Slave were having a little bit of miscommunication there for a second. Oh, could this be it? Could this be their shot? Oh, big snap DDT! This could be the shot! This could be the shot! Titan is out! Oh, but Super's not fighting back, giving, possibly giving Titan time to recover. Oh! Big Spine Buster is out, not to put him down. One, two, no! Titan kicks, correction, Super kicks out. <laughs> Both men look alike, I'm sorry. Now D-Mob's in the ring. Titan is back up. Oh god. Big kick to the face and again now attacking the head of Super. Super is Super is the weak link right now of the nation. My god, he was he swung wildly. Didn't even realize he was like a mile away from D-Mob. Oh wait! Goes with the goes with the roll-up! Slade though! I think just saved it. I, I don't know. I don't know if D-Mob kicked out or not. Oh, but Super's going for a Super! You're knocking on D-Mob! Is that enough? One! Two! I think... I, I don't know what happened there. I think Slade... I think Slade was a little late, but I think it was because he was trusting D-Mob to get out of it! And the crowd chanting at Tag Team Wrestling. Honestly, I think Tag Team Wrestling is what's been helping! PXC and hits the old fashioned, is that enough? No, again, Titan, fuck god damn dude, he fucking leaps. He fucking leaps. And Slade is already tired of it, sends Titan over the top rope. But right now, both legal men is Titan, correction, Super, and D-Mob. Oh, ooh, misses and hits a big, big shots there. Super though, quickly roll. God damn, dude! <laughs> it looks like he has fucking face paint on, cause his whole side of face is fucking red. Uh oh, super now. Oh, taking out Slade and D-Mob, not appreciating it. Oh, big flatline to the face of Super. D-Mob though, now just dealing big punishment. Did not like that Super targeted his partner there. But Super doesn't give a fuck. Oh, Super now trying to get Demon to the corner. Oh now, oh looks to damage the arm of Demon. My right, slate is up, but right now I believe we're about to see some Spartan strength from Titan. Is that enough to put D-Mob out of commission? 
They're all at home. Slade. I think Slade trusted D-Mob a little bit too much there. He should have gotten in right when that move landed. And with that, the nation makes their statement clear. <laughs> they are going to be next in line with that shit. Whether you like it or not, the nation is not fucking done. God damn. But like I said, congratulations to Nation Domination picking up the win against the War Machines. But now, it is on to our next match. So, earlier in the night, we did talk about uh, the Unholy and Jacob Twisted Wildfire. Because Jacob is not technically scheduled tonight. He is making an appearance tonight at ringside for Michael Wolf. But, he did win a shot against Electrode at Frost Fight. In other words, this could be the Unholy's chance to possibly gain some gold. And possibly take a little bit more control of PXT. Michael Wolf, to appease his uh, fellow comrade, is taking this match against Electrobe to see if Michael Wolf will be at ringside for Frostfight. Now, with that said, too, the question is does this also go for Devil or is it only Michael Wolf? Because Devil. God damn, we gotta see a lot of Devil. Holy shit, dude, he looks fucking terrifying. <laughs> Also, I want to point out the Syndicate right now are not here tonight either, mainly because they wanted to check on Cassidy and make sure he is fine. Because right now, Cassidy, because of last week's show, he got fucked up. So because of that, they requested a week off, which we did, did agree and did give them. Michael Wolf coming in. With the unholy here tonight. I don't know, the unholy didn't win that carnage match, but so far it looks like things are looking up for the unholy. Not only were they able to pick up tag team victory against the syndicate, they were able to take out, full on, take out and dismember Bill Cassidy. Where even earlier before that happened, Jacob Tristan Wildfire was able to earn a shot for the PXT Championship. In other words, this could be huge, and I do mean that huge, for the unholy here tonight. Especially if Michael Wolf successfully wins. If he wins tonight, dude, it's gonna be even tougher, and I do mean that incredibly tougher. Will Electro to even pull off a victory? But now, the man, the myth, the immortal himself. He is the PXT champion, Electrobe. Electrobe was able to pick up this, <laughs> was able to pick up the victory at Carnage against Carlo Mendez in easy faction, by the way. And also with that said too, from what we understand, Electrobe has actually went ahead and signed an NTW contract as well. So he officially has a PXT NTW contract. So that means Electro has an even bigger chance of becoming a fucking triple crown champion once again. Both in PXT and in NTW. And god damn it, the one fucking thing they'll fix is that goddamn shit. Ow, that hurts my ear. Now, Electro's brother earlier tonight was not able to pick up the win for the TikTok Championship to become double champion. But can Electro successfully pick up a victory here tonight and not just that, successfully make it a one on one match at Frost Fight? Electro going against Michael Wolf here tonight. Oh, Michael Wolf. 
Getting Electro buff. Already showing that there might be a skill gap between the two men. This is a first, and right now Michael Wolf is full on taking control of the match. And oh my god! Big kick straight to the face of the PXC champion. Electro not holding anything back either. Oh, look at that. Electro not being disrespected here tonight. Oh, hits a big, big kick. A springboard kick right there. All right, I guess this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah, ah. What just happened? <laughs> it was the unholy power of Michael Wolf. Oh, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, already hits! Already hits the lightning. Wait, no, that was the lightning. That was the electric talent. What the fuck? Oh, look at this! Already showing disrespect to the leader of the unholy with a lightning talent straight to the face. I swear to God, if that was a three, dude, that was gonna be a huge fucking statement. Holy shit! Well, I do want to point out that is showing that Electro can end this whenever the fuck he wants. Not only did he hit Electric Talent, he hit the Lightning Talent out of nowhere. That is the scary thing about fucking Electro. Is that he can hit these things out of fucking nowhere. Oh, oh, oh. I think Devil was trying to trying to do some stuff there. Oh! I think we were close to seeing an electric bulldog there. His old patented move! But he gets caught with a big high knee to the face. Electro kicks out. Oh, Michael Wolf looking. Do some big damage. Oh wait, no! Electro! Going in for a roll-up! Is that enough? One! Two! No! Well, I get the two count there. Right now, Electro getting Michael Wolf in a suplex. Oh, I think, okay, I don't know what Electro was going to set up there. Hits a big gut shot, and now Michael Wolf. Oh, it happened again. <laughs> the holy power of Michael Wolf. Oh, my God. Those studs and the big boot straight to the face of the PXT champion. Is that enough? One, no. Only gets a one count on the PXC champion. God, man, Electro's actually making a good statement here tonight. Oh, was able to get a big offense maneuver. And oh, misses the electric talent and gets caught in a super kick from Michael Wolf. This, man, this, this is a, I, I'll give props. This is a match I never thought I'd see. <laughs> Now, Michael Wolf setting him up. Oh, for an holy ground. Is that another put down the PXT champion here tonight? Oh, Michael Wolf isn't even done. Oh, big power slam. Is that another put Electro down? One, two, no. Electro is our Randy Orton. Pratt with the kick, yeah. I'll agree on that. With the kick, yeah. <laughs> oh, big maneuver right there. Oh, oh, oh no. And oh, hits it! Straight to the temple! One, two, three! And with that, Electro has made it a one-on-one -on -one match at Frost Fight! Holy shit! Apparently, no, it is not 100% a one-on-one -on -one match yet. Um, apparently, after we left the arena, Michael Wolf grabbed the mic and said, you're not done. Next week, you're gonna go through hell against the devil. If he wins, he'll be at ringside. And uh, the Electro just looked at Devil. Devil was fucking ready.
And it looks like next week it's going to be Devil going against Electro. Same stipulation, so it looks like there's still a chance Jacob can have somebody in the Unholy on his side at fucking ringside. But now it is on to our main event. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Adonis to see if he is correct about what he's been saying. Now, from what we understand, he's pulling a Jeff Hardy. Yes. <laughs> So, well, with this said, uh, Adonis was able to pick up a win against the number one contender, G7, at, with easy fashion, by the way. This impressed CJ so much to where even CJ wanted to see what Adonis was made of, and is actually challenging Adonis here tonight. So, tonight it is Adonis going against CJ, and this is a big match because it is a former multi, a former multi champion. A green head like C. Jill. Actually, can I say green at this point? Because holy fuck. Because <laughs> holy shit. Are you doing the postcode? Uh, maybe. Maybe. There's a reason we did it early tonight. <laughs> either way, now it's time for the main event Adonis versus C. Jill. The main event here in PXT. Here's the thing, I think this might, I think this could be a big, a big fucking challenge for CGO. Because CGO, I don't think he's gone against a good striker like Adonis. As far as I know, he's gone against Lawler, but Lawler was, uh, Lawler was not as good as Adonis. Adonis has the Kienzan, he has the Adonis drop, he has Mach 2. He has all this in his arsenal to that he can use against C. Jill. Do we see Jill? Don't get me wrong. He has shit in his arsenal as well, and he's, he fucking hits hard. But can he put down possibly a former WWE champion? The question, I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. So right now, I 100% I do not know. The Lawler vs. CJ fight was legit. God's fall. That's true. But now, here tonight, could we be seeing either the rise or the absolute fall of Adonis? That's the question. He's already taken out the number one contender. Now, the question is can he actually. You know, walk the walk the walk when he's talking the shit, you know? Like he's talking the talk and he walked the walk against the likes of C Jill. This type of push, most likely. Maybe. But like you said before too, C Jill is a fucking he is a fucking showing. There's a reason this is a main event match, man. It's because C Jill C Jill's matches are not like one and done. He he usually takes full control of the match and decimates the match. <laughs> the only time we've actually been like a little bit near with one of his matches was his match against Michael Slade, but he did go on record in saying that he didn't want to beat Slade, he just wanted to punish him. Or, I guess correction, humble him a little bit. Which, in retrospect, losing in a fucking way that he lost, that, that would humble anybody, because I feel like losing in a ring out count is the worst way to lose in wrestling. I would fucking hate that. Another night, is he looking to humble Adonis, or is he looking to possibly see Maybe if Adonis is worthy of his time. Could Adonis be the challenge that C. Jill has been looking for? That is the fucking question here tonight. Or could we see the unthinkable? Could we see the thing that we don't think we'd ever see? And that is C. Jill be pinned here tonight. One, two, three. It's Adonis against C. Jill. Main event of PXC. Let's go. Go, oh my God. Oh, again. Oh, he starts off with the big strike. Oh, but Adonis. Oh, Adonis comes in with a big knee, though. Giving a big shot back to the YouTube champion. And now giving a little bit of disrespect to C. Jill. 
Again, this this could be this could be possibly the biggest win of Adonis's career here in PXC if he can put down the unbeatable. Or correction, the unpinnable in this case. See, Jill has not been pinned in PXT at all. And right now it looks like it looks like Adonis might actually be able to do it. Goes with a pin. One! Only gets a one count. I think Adonis realizes he's gonna need a lot more to get a two. Ooh, big elbow shot. Right now, I believe believe the striking power of Adonis is really showing to do some major damage to the likes of C Jill. Oh, look at that. Well, no, but CJ now looking to come back. Looking to make a huge comeback now. Sending Adonis to the ropes. Goes over. Oh, both men colliding with each other. I think both men had some ideas for offense. Oh! He just busted open the White Viper. Oh, but that might have lit a fire in the Viper himself. Oh, my God! Dropping on knee, face, the knee first, and now goes in for a series of strikes. This might have just pissed off the Russian man. Oh, wait, but Adonis doesn't give a flying fuck. Adonis sees this as, as the, possibly the biggest win in his career here in PXT. That's what he's looking at. That's what he's looking to do. Oh, an inverted DDT. And now we gotta get props, but right now it's Father's Blessing to Adonis! Is that enough to put him down? One, two, no! Adonis still going, but that that took the wind out of Adonis. And CJ Hill, CJ Hill's ready to go, and he goes flying! And connects against Adonis! And this is where the match my entity made CJ Hill mad. And when mean mad, I mean mad. Yeah, this, this might actually be it then. Right now, I don't know, Adonis is able to really... He's being able to really test the likes of C. Jill right now. I mean, he busted him open. Right now, he's already struggling to make a comeback in it. Oh, face first onto the apron. Oh, Adonis, though, not done. Right now, we're at a count of six. Count of seven. What's, it, what's Adonis going to go for here, though? Yeah, Adonis going back in the ring. Might be a good idea, though, because he had the advantage inside the ring. Oh, they're going to hit. Oh, he hits the hands on. On it. See, Jill, is there enough to put him down? One. Two. No. He was able to get the two. He was able to hit the key ends on. He's going to need to full on hit this maneuver. Oh, that's the Adonis drop. Is that enough to put C. Jill down? Or are you going to see it? One, two. No, C. Jill is still fighting. My God. Oh, hits the heel kick. And now gives him a C to Adonis. Is that enough to put him down? No. Adonis is still fighting. I gotta get props, man. <laughs> the striking power of both men is really impressing me right now. Go, <laughs> oh, God! The big clothesline. And right now, comes in with a big knee to the face to Adonis! Oh, look at this! Oh, goes with the Viper Lock! Looking to make the former WWE Champion tap out here tonight! Is Adonis going to tap out to the Viper Lock? No, 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 no! Adonis gets out of it! Adonis gets out of the Viper Lock! That means, that means he's pushing CJ to the limit! He's pushing CJ to the limit! That's the only time we've seen him hit the Viper Lock! Could this be it? Could we be seeing it? Could we be seeing, possibly? <laughs> maybe not just an upset, but maybe the biggest upset of tonight! C. Jill gets control back of the match. Like I said, this is somehow Adonis can pick up the win here. Look at this. Still looking to fight back. Still looking to put down the White Viper here tonight. Oh, big chops. Big chops, but C. Jill's not giving up either. Oh, look at this. Gets him up. 
and father's blessing to Adonis. Is that enough? One, two, he, Adonis is, Adonis is not fucking done here. And see Jill's trying just to take him down. This is the most fight we've seen from Adonis in forever. Oh my god, another outside dive. I'm being serious, this is possibly the most fight we've seen out of Adonis. Dang, he might do it. He pulled the Viper Lock out and the and that took Rocky down. I know. That's how I'm surprised right now. Adonis might be able to do it. He might be able to put down C Jill finally. Oh my god, he he actually might be able to do it! Adonis has full control of this match right now. C Jill is struggling to maintain against the offense. Oh no, there it is! There it is! We may have spoken way too soon! Oh, again, misses that knee shot. And he gets caught with a sling blade! Oh my god, big chops right now. Adonis doing everything he can. Oh, we're at a count of eight. Are we actually going to get this from Adonis? I believe, well, this is a, this is a bit of an upset. I think Adonis realized he could not, <laughs> he could not fucking do it, so he just took, he couldn't bring the big man back in the ring, so he decided to go for this type of victory. And everybody in the arena is pissed. <laughs> wow. Wow. You dick! This match was so good and you end it like that? I fucking know. Oh my god. Oh wait, hold on. We're getting some word in right now. G7 just stormed the ring and just attacked the Donis. What the fuck? Wait, what's going on? G7's assisting C. Jill into the ring. Okay, so real quick from my understanding of what we just got told. G7 just went out and full-on assaulted Adonis for the biggest disrespect, not only to the PXC fans, but to uh, even C. Jill. Assisted C. Jill back into the ring, grabbed the YouTube Championship, and actually handed it to C. Jill. Then both men had a full-on stare down. Are we seeing like a fucking like gentleman bout going on between these two? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, thank you guys for watching PXC. Peace out. Take care. Have a great night. Again, you know, guys could all be pissed off at Adonis because now he is on the same level as Rodrigo with being fucking dicks at the main event. All right. Peace out. Take care. Have a great night, guys. Hello everybody, welcome to our first ever PXT interview between both teams competing at Frost Fight for the PXT Tag Team Championships. We have the Wolfpack, the team of Rocky Mercado and Mox, and the Outcast, the team of Shane Henry and Jack Flo. Hello gentlemen, uh, Howdy. welcome to the, welcome to the <laughs> interview. So, come from? <laughs> so, real quick, um, I wanted to ask the challengers really on this because uh, th this this is a big step for the Outcast right now. The Outcast, this is y'all's first title match ever in PXT. How are y'all guys feeling or preparing for this type of match at Frost Fight? Well. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about it. It's my first uh, title shot in PXT, but I'm feeling good. I just gotta get, I just gotta hold my anger and get it all out on the two fuckers next to me. I got him. <laughs> well, man, there, there, there really isn't much I could say on, uh, on that, except for the fact that you're, you're not gonna beat us. You're not going to. I mean, mm. look, 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 look. What do you what do you think, Mox? He, they're not gonna beat us, right? Yeah. See, see, that's what I that's what I mean, man. They're not going to. See, because let me let me name off the people we beat. We beat all those all those guys at Abyss. Not to mention, let's not. Forget. And we beat all those guys at Carnage. Like, what are you going about here, man? Come on. 
but you didn't you didn't you only pinned the weakest ones you pinned jack daniels the new guy and you put him out for like jack for a daniels while. jack daniels is undefeated in his singles career we had two he people who were undefeated in that match you. But that's the funny part he would have beaten you he would have locked you down just like we're gonna lock you down didn't. over at frost fight but he didn't but he didn't <laughs> he would have same thing with morales you didn't you couldn't even pin him hell i could have pinned him was out fighting dust Hell, I could have pinned him. Hey now, hey now, everyone calm down. Everyone calm down. I will say this. Honor, I am ready for this match. I just feel like Shane needs to calm his ass down. Fuck you, Flo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> see? See, see Mox, this is what I mean. These fuckers can't even get on the same page, man. It's called brotherly love, dipshit. Okay, okay, okay. No, this, this, is, what, this is what brotherly love looks like. The fact that we can get shit what, done. You gonna give Mox a bigger. smooch now? You're gonna give Mox, Mox a big old smooch? A little mwah? <laughs> hey man, I've got more accolades under my belt than you do. Ah, sure, Wait. sure, sure. Well, real quick, I want, want to dig in with that because uh, this is a question for the Outcast actually. How, how do you guys feel about facing um, both these competitors that, who are not just the first ever PXD Tag Team Champions and also first two time PXD Tag Team Champions, but they are also the first two to hold multi titles? Does that put a little bit of pressure for y'all guys going into Frost Fight? For me, I feel like it does, but like. I don't know about Shane. He's just like fucking crazy, but it does put some pressure on us. I feel like With what they have done at PXC. I feel like it is a lot of pressure. It's just Shane used to just stop being fucking cocky. Hey, he's being cocky too. Rocky's being cocky. Why don't you go after him? Cause he's not my fucking brother. <laughs> Airplane. Now, now with that said, with that said, for the for the wolf pack, uh, Rocky, since you're gonna be talking most of the time, um, does that does that make y'all feel y'all guys are thinking this could be just an easy walk in the park for y'all, or y'all thinking that the outcast can put up a challenge for y'all at Frost Fight? Let's just say we did what the both of them couldn't do, and we took out the Nation of Domination. We took out the rest of those people at Abyss. Not to mention. Like you said, we're the first two-time double title tag team champion. Yapping, yapping, yapping. And guess point. what? I started this historic reign taking the YouTube title from your very eyes. Didn't I stand guard to help you with that? Because I knew if C. Jill was in the ring. Like, I, gave, I handed you that title. I was nice to you then. I could have easily shoved that ladder off and watch you hang with that title in your grasp. And I still would have brought it down, my friend. Because ah, at the sure, end of the day, yeah. these titles are staying with us. These, these titles nuts are going to be in your us. mouth. So, so with that, with that said, though, Rocky, because that, that is actually true. That is what happened at Abyss. The Shane was keeping guard while you went up and claimed the YouTube championship. But now, with, with that with that said, bringing in the YouTube title, um, because you have gone against C. Jill. Going against a man like C. Jill, uh, did, did that spark something inside of you to where you feel like you have to push yourself even further now? Because, coming out, C. Jill. <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you this, my friend. Let me tell you this, man. I love C. Jill. C. Jill, from what many people don't even know, C. Jill is a very humble guy, very nice guy. Hell, he, he even spends time with me and Mox after the shows half the time. Oh, oh, Shane, we, went Shane, go, yeah. we went out to go get burgers once. Uh, that would that would be that would be a sight actually. To see is to see C Jill like bite a burger. I won't lie to you. Shane, uh you, you seem like you wanted to say something there. Did did you have something to input? I'ma just hold it. I'ma hold it. I'm really gonna hold it. Alright. All I'm, all I'm gonna say, man, is that these titles are gonna stay with us, because they're just gonna be another group to lock down, just like how we did it to, to the nation. You're really trying to be the Usos here, aren't you? You really think you're up there with the tag team like the Usos. You're really trying with that, aren't you? I, I'd like to think that we might even be better than the Usos. How about you get your... Uh you cock out of your mouth and realize something 
just realize. You'll never be better than the Usos. You'll never be better than us. You'll never- Rocky, you'll never even be better than me. I think I'm already better than you. Sure. Sure. I mean, let's be real here. You couldn't- you could get the accolades for the titles, you could even- you could get there, but at the end of the day, you would always choke, man. Always. Every hey. single opportunity, you always choked. I've had one opportunity, and that was a fluke. Lawler <laughs> had the upper hand of that. I'll give it to him. Lawler, great competitor, great fighter, but that next... But let's, but let's remember this. After that, Lawler went on, went on a losing streak. Lawler went on a now. losing streak. And look at me. I'm sitting here holding the MTW title. I understand I'm going to have to vacate it the next show, but who's holding the title? Who's holding a single title? You needed Mox to help you. And Mox isn't even fully 100% right now. That just that just goes to prove that just goes to prove that we don't we don't need to be 100% to win the titles. Hmm, I see. I see. So how cocky can one man be? Oh, oh, real quick. I see. Uh, I I want to I want to dig in here and, and actually get some facts straight out a little bit. Um, Shane, you, you did say that that was one opportunity, but sadly that, that that's sort of a lie because there was two opportunities. It was the one in Hellfire with you and Lawler, to where Lawler did pick up the win, but then it was also with the Nation as well, to where you guys had an opportunity to go for the tag titles against the Wolfpack. Now you guys are, which is great, but went against. The nation, though, you guys weren't able to pick up the win. Do, do you feel like because of that, maybe it might spark something? Maybe spark like something for y'all guys to actually pull it out at Frost Fight? Or do y'all guys just think just gonna go I, balls to the wall? I'm gonna go balls to the wall because I need to shut Rocky the fuck up. And even if we do in that rematch clause, I'm gonna go even harder on you, Rocky. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna even go harder. I'm gonna go 200%. I'm 100% right now. I'm gonna go 200% in that rematch clause if we win. But hey, 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 man. Let me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. This, this is a question for Jack Flo, because I'm not, I'm not gonna talk to you. Uh, let me, let me oh, ask you fuck this, you. Jack. Oh, fuck let me, let me ask you this. Yo. If you, if you lose again, I bet you, I'm gonna bet you my bottom dollar. Your brother's gonna leave. Because at the end of the day, your brother's just as cowardly as anybody else. Your brother's hey, just don't as talk, cowardly hey, as the don't man. Don't talk shit who, about my brother. Don't talk your brother, shit about him. Your brother would just be as cowardly as the man who put C. Jill against the barricade. Sure. He's just sure. like Adonis. The man is a coward just like Adonis. And he's going to lose at hey, Frost's hey, fight. C. Jill did the same thing to Slade. C. Jill did the exact same thing to Slade. We're not, now, I'm we're not, not even talking standing about with, my former I'm not tag standing team with partner. Adonis. I'm not standing with him saying Adonis did something bad. I'm saying that that was probably payback for what C. Jill did to Slade. I'm just going to say that right now. All I know is that just after, after you get what's coming to y'all, Adonis is going to get what's coming to him. Mm, mm, mm. all right well before uh, before things get too heated here i think that's uh yeah, that's gonna be it for us today guys Dude, thank man. you both teams thank you both y'all for uh, joining in i'm just ready to cave someone's ass in, and that's gonna be you rocky i don't got right. nothing with mox all right and with that beat your ass sure <laughs> my man i'm gonna all beat right. your fucking ass all right, and with that, uh, this has been the, this has been our interview with both the Wolfpack, the PXC Tag Team Champions, and the number one contenders, the Outcasts. Yeah.